The animation opens inside a family's living room where two siblings stay to relax. The younger sibling, Sean, sits on the floor as he plays video games while his older sister, Lisa, is on her phone. Sean does not perform well with his team, so they drop him off in the game. Lisa sees this and notices that her brother is sad about it, so she takes the controller from him and plays against his former teammates, winning them. This situation makes Sean happy, and he embraces his sister for her win. Soon, their mother, Tess, comes in and announces to them that they would be spending Sean's birthday at their dad's place. Tess tells them to get ready to leave, which they do, and they head into the car to commence their drive to their dad's house. After some mini-drive, Sean, Lisa, and their mother arrive at their father's place, but they do not see him around, so they wait. Some moments later, their father, Terry, announces his arrival holding some snacks and Sean runs to greet him at the door. Terry walks in and tries to greet his daughter but is met with a cold gesture. Later, Sean and Lisa play with decor while Tess pulls Terry aside to have an important conversation with him. These two have been separated for a while and are co-parenting as they try to create a good environment for their kids. Tess informs Terry about the complaints that she has been receiving from Lisa's school. Lisa had been involved in gambling in order to raise money for charity and her school got to know about it. Tess then tells her co-parent to speak to Lisa to see if she would listen to him and he agrees. After spending some time with her family, Tess announces that she is leaving and they all bid her farewell. In the evening, Lisa and Sean have dinner with their father, who shares jokes which only Sean finds funny. Lisa subtly complains about her father's unavailability and busy schedule, after which she sulkily goes to her room. Now they are alone, father and son decide to play video games together while Lisa lays in her bed in sadness. In the sitting room, Sean excuses himself to go get ice cream from the kitchen, and his father, already sleepy, lets him go. In the kitchen, after he has taken the ice cream, Sean sees a strange man standing outside the glass door. This man gestures to him to open the door and Sean gets terrified, so he screams for his father. Terry heard his son's voice, so he hurriedly goes to the kitchen and sees the man which he seems to know. So, he tells Sean to go inside the house while he heads out to meet this stranger. Outside, Terry is informed by this man that he has an assignment that he would need to carry out as a bounty hunter. But he replies that he dropped the job for some time and shares with this man that he is not interested in going back. The strange-looking man persuades him and also shows him a high-paying check which would be his reward after the assignment. The offer becomes tempting and Terry thinks of everything he would use the money for, so he agrees, and the man goes away. He returns to his son inside the house and informs him that he would be going out for work that night. Sean gets sad, and he goes up to the room which he shares with his sister and complains to her that Terry is headed for work that night. The kids do not know that their father is a bounty hunter, and they plan to secretly follow him to work. They go downstairs and see their grandma, who Terry has already called to take care of them for some days. After a while, the siblings head out to their father's truck and hide in the trunk after removing the things they found there. Terry later comes along and ignites the vehicle's engine, while Lisa and Sean watch from a space in the trunk. They soon feel the vehicle moving at a very high speed, and Lisa covers her brother's mouth to prevent him from shouting. A few moments later, everything becomes peaceful and calm, so the two children come out from hiding. They look around and are confused to find themselves in a strange building. So, Lisa and Sean walk away from where the car is packed into another place, where they see a robot sitting on a chair. They scream out of fear and the robot sees them, so it immediately removes the headgear to reveal himself as their father. Sean and Lisa throw dozens of questions at their father when they discover that they are in a spaceship, while Terry is also confused about how they got to his ship, he then later sits them down and explains his job as a bounty hunter to them. Their father also mentions to them that he planned to reveal the truth to them when they were of age. After explaining, he decides to take them back home, and they beg him to reconsider his decision, but he does not listen. Terry drags his kids to the garage and opens his trunk to get the equipment that he would use to send them back, but he found it empty. He is shocked and asks Sean and Lisa about it, and they reveal to him that they threw it away while trying to find space in his trunk. Terry gets frustrated and announces to his children that they have no means of going back home except when he finishes the assignment. The kids are happy about this and ask their father so many questions about the different things they see inside the ship. They are taken to the control center of the ship where Sean begins to press several buttons out of curiosity and this affects the software control of the ship, cars pronounced as Chris. 
This draws attention to the ship and soon, their spacecraft is chased after by a female space creature who mistakes the ship for a male to mate. So, Terry straps his kids in and navigates the ship to fly far away from the creature, and they, later on, cruise into space. Terry later places a call to his mother and informs her that his children are with him, so she wouldn't panic. He then drives the spacecraft to a place where he would get food and snacks. According to him, this eatery is the best in the galaxy and enjoys the patronage of numerous bounty hunters and galactic beings. He lands the ship outside the eatery and instructs his kids to stay put and not go anywhere. Lisa and Sean whine about this, asking their father to take them with him, but he refuses and after a while, he heads out. He enters the eatery and sees various creatures and bounty hunters as he scans the hall looking for someone. Terry finds the person whom he is searching for, and he keeps a close eye on him while he places his order. Meanwhile, Sean and Lisa disobey their father as they leave the ship and enter the eatery disguised as robots. They try to find their way around and later order some chicken, which only Sean consumes. He soon gets a stomach upset as a result of this and rushes to the toilet while Lisa heads to the casino table. Terry, on the other hand, goes to meet the popular illegal arms dealer whom he was spying on earlier and asks for information about the bounty he is chasing. But this dealer does not provide him any information but talks him off and walks away with his bodyguards. Lisa, on the other hand, is at a gambling table where she watches the gamers lose to a bounty hunter named Glorlox, so she decides to play against him. Sean is using the toilet when the alien whom his father interrogated angrily walks inside, complaining about Terry. Sean overhears him saying that he knows of the whereabouts of the bounty which Terry asked him about but purposely refused to relay any info about her. They soon hear a sound which they check out and find Sean using the toilet, so they apologize. Soon, Terry comes into the restroom and fights this person, and gets the information about the bounty from him. He sees Sean and grabs him as they leave the restroom to go find Lisa, so they would leave. Lisa wins Glorlox at the table, and she decides to return to her brother, but Glorlox does not seem to want to end as a loser, so he tries to stop her. Terry arrives and gets his daughter away from his confrontation and introduces Sean and Lisa as his partner. Glorlox used to be Terry's partner in the bounty hunting business, but they later split when Terry wanted to work alone. Soon, the individuals who Terry fought inside the restroom come out and go after him. So, Terry causes a commotion and tries to escape with his children amid the chaos. Apparently, the eatery has a policy of no tussling, so as a fight breaks out among the customers, the robot tases and places a ban on the defaulters one after the other. Terry is also banned from the restaurant, and he is upset by this as he returns to his ship. However, he scolds Lisa for engaging in the game with Glorlox and also speaks to her about playing cards and the gambling issue that Tess reported to him about. Lisa then reminds him that he was the one who taught her how to play cards when she was little, and she walks away sad. After a while, the father and children head to the next location in the galaxy as they go about the assignment. Unknown to them, Glorlox and his partners are following them from afar as he wants to hijack Terry's bounty mission and get the pay. Terry's ship soon arrives at a grocery store somewhere in the galaxy, and Lisa and Sean are told to go get the things that they would need for their journey. Inside the store, the siblings go their separate ways as they go to get stuff. Sean runs around, picking candies and chocolates, even though his father asked him not to take them. He then comes across a robot that cleans the store, and he asks for a basket, after which he tries to get acquainted with it. They introduce themselves and Sean calls the robot Carl and inquires about why there aren't people in the store. Carl replies to him and mentions to Sean that the store has a bug infestation. Later on, they begin to play and have fun, running about in the store using the various games on the shelves to entertain themselves. While this is going on, Lisa meets a stranger at her own wing of the store, and they get into a conversation. This stranger is the bounty whom her father is after, but she has no idea, and the bounty also has no knowledge of who she is. Lisa complains about her dad and shares some problems she is having with him. This lady then shares her personal experiences with her late father and drops some words of advice for Lisa as they sit on the floor. Outside, Terry receives a call from Tess, who calls to check on the kids and know if they are doing okay. She suspects that Terry is having a difficult time with the children, so she encourages him to take it easy with them. Terry also shares his thoughts about Lisa and they both engage in a conversation for a while. Inside the store, Sean sees a bug, so he walks away from the robot and goes after it. 
He gently walks about the store as he goes searching for the bug which he saw earlier. Terry on the other hand gets off the call with Tess and starts going inside the store to get his children as they have taken too long inside. He sees the bounty coming out of the store and immediately recognizes her and she recognizes him too. So, they pull out their guns and begin shooting at each other outside the building. Inside, Sean tracks the bug and sees a robot that has been attacked by bugs, so he runs to it, thinking it is Carl. He soon finds out that it is another robot, but he hears a noise from above him, and he looks up and sees a giant alien bug that tries to attack him, so he shouts and takes to his heels. Lisa hears her brother's voice, so she searches for him and finds him being chased by a bug which now begins to chase both of them. They hide behind a shelf and Lisa comes up with an idea, so they push the shelf on the bug on her count. This gigantic bug is crushed but other little ones come out from its insides and also other parts of the store. The bugs then come together and head toward Lisa and Sean in attack mode. Seeing that they are in danger, the kids scream for their dad. Terry is in the middle of almost apprehending the bounty when he hears his children's voice, and this gets him distracted and she escapes. He goes into the grocery store and sees the bugs everywhere and is about to go toward his children. Terry shoots them off with his gun and grabs Lisa and Sean, taking them outside the store. Sean feels bad as he sees Carl getting attacked by the bugs, but the robot consoles him, telling him that cannot die as he tells him goodbye. They run towards the ship, so the bugs run after them with a few of them almost gaining access to the ship. Terry shoots off the bugs that are almost entering the ship and as the door completely shuts, they run to the control center to take off. Unfortunately, the bugs begin climbing the ship and gradually begin to cover the screen, blocking the vision with which the ship would use to fly. They decide to take off anyway but the robot whose software controls the ship raises an alarm about the weight of the bugs on the machine. Terry and his crew are unable to leave the spot because the weight of the bugs is too heavy for the spacecraft to move. So, Sean comes up with an idea and goes to another room where the weapons control center is. He sits on the chair and activates the weapons on the ship as he begins to shoot at the bugs collectively. Soon, some of the bugs fall off, thereby relieving the ship of some weight, so they take off into space and the remaining bugs on the ship fall off to the ground. Sean is excited that his efforts produced results, but they soon face a new problem. One of the wings of the spacecraft got hit while Sean shot at the bugs earlier. The damage starts as minimal but soon escalates with fire gutting out of the damaged part and this gets everyone scared. Terry and his family are already moving high in space and are at the possible risk of crashing, which would take their lives. So, they all stayed at the damage, scared and Terry is frustrated. This is where the first three episodes end. We will get back soon with the recap of next three episodes. Till then, stay happy and chill out.